Hey, this is Luke Simons with Saltron. In this video, you're gonna see a review of this Z-Man Minnow Z lure. This is what it looks like when rigged on a jig head. Here is the actual package. So brand new package of them, they come in six. But what I'll be doing is I'll be discussing, you know, the, 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 the overall review. I've been using this lure for a few months now and just wanted to share, you know, the, the pros and the cons, of course, uh, with this lure in particular. Overall, you know, this type of, of, of bait, which is just a soft plastic with a little paddle tail in the back, it is just an awesome bait. This is one of the most versatile types of baits out there. And when rigged on a jig head, uh, it could be, you know, tons of different jig heads out there, but when rigged on a jig head, this can be fished in so many different ways. You can catch so many different types of fish. You can be sight fishing. You know, here's a, some footage sight fishing snook and, uh, and catching a, some nice snook. Um, you can also do a little blind casting, you know, just uh, kind of power fishing is what I what I typically call it, where you can cover a lot of ground um, quickly, right, and, and efficiently. Uh, also, you can do finesse fishing with it too. You can get some, you know, some detailed sight fishing and uh, and cover, you know, potholes and uh, again just a very very versatile to lure. And just like everything, there's not the perfect lure for every situation. So what I'll be talking about is this tail specifically. Again, this. The Z-Man Minnow Z, I'll, I'll talk about the pros and the cons for this one in particular. And if you have used these after this video, you know, please, do, uh, please do leave a comment and I'll be, I'll be curious to get your thoughts uh, about, uh, about the lure as well. So overall, as far as the, the pros, I'll talk about the pros and the cons. I'm not affiliated with this company in any way, uh, nor any other lure company. But the overall pros is uh, the number one by far is the fact how strong it is. So if you fish soft plastic in areas with like pinfish and puffer fish, you know how frustrating it is that you'll come back and the, the tail's gone, right? And then you kind of lose a lot of the uh, a, a lot of the uh, the action of the lure. And so these in particular, this has been probably the strongest. I'm putting a lot of pressure on this. This has been the strongest material I have found for a soft plastic. It is incredibly strong, and I was I'm putting if I did this with any other plastic it would totally break and uh and the fact that it just goes right back to shape is uh, is very impressive it's not a totally puffer fish proof uh, those things can bite through anything but as far as handling pinfish you know i have not yet had issues with uh, with pinfish ruining the bait so also they have good action so although it is very strong it's actually very uh, very easy to move so even just the smallest motion even on a free fall with a light jig head this tail is going to be fluttering and uh, and looking good, so good action and it's priced well, right? They, you know they come in in packets of uh, of six, and they actually uh, I also like the fact that they come well organized. So come in, you know, have a nice little uh, a little plastic insert that has the base of their form already cut out, so you're pretty much guaranteed that when you pull it out, the bait's going to be nice and straight. Right. If, if the bait's not straight, it's not going to look good in the water. It's as simple as that. And a lot of the other companies, they just leave their baits just kind of floating around in, in one of the bags. And, uh, and sometimes, you know, one can be laying over the other and have this twist effect, and that's just not good. So, so overall, yeah, that's the pros. As far as the cons, uh, they, they're really hard to rig. Um, so that's, that's by far the number one con. You know, the fact that this material is, is so stretchy yet strong it makes rigging a challenge, especially um, when rigged on, on one of their on one of their jig heads, which has I'll pull this thing off so you can see it. But it has, you know, some some really strong, uh, really kind of aggressive points. And so getting the lure over those points can be very tough. You can see here's the jig head that they make. You also, of course, can rig them on other jig heads. A lot of different options out there, but the, the rigging is the most difficult. But once it is rigged, It'll uh, it'll stay you know again it'll stay on that hook for a long time. You can catch most often you can catch more fish per bait than uh, than a lot of the other competitions. So another con is is the fact that it's very light. So when fishing shallow water where I'm using like uh, one of the weighted hooks instead of a jig head, you know I do not like using this tail on a weighted hook just because it's too light. I can't cast as far. So if I want to fish a, a, a paddle tail of this same size up in the shallows on a weighted hook, I'm not gonna use the Z-Man. I'm gonna to go to one of the others like a DOA or a variety of the other, you know, the, I guess the competitors, if you will, that, that have, you know, that use the traditional oil-based resin 
that's more dense and it'll just cast farther. It casts much further actually. All right, and so the, the final con is the fact that, that these baits, if you, uh, if you store these in a tackle box, along with the, the normal, like the oil-based uh, types of, uh, of soft plastics, is that they're gonna ruin each other. Because this, this material, whatever it's made out of, um, it'll eat away at the, uh, the oil-based type of baits. And the result will be that both this one and the oil-based one are totally ruined. Well, that's the top three pros and the top three cons that I've seen so far when using the Z-Man Minnow Z Lure. If you have used this, please do take a moment and, and leave a comment down below. Uh, let us know your thoughts on, on what, you've, uh, what you've found to be good and what you found to be bad for this lure. Because the purpose of this isn't to be a lecture, it is all about having a discussion and we'll just love to hear your feedback. And also, if you do like reviews like this, be sure to check out our website, which is saltstrong.com. Because on our website, we share all of our best reviews, all of our best tips, all of our best strategies. And we even share our best spots with our Insider Club members so that you know, the club members can see the latest and greatest trends throughout the entire year to give them a leg up on everybody else. So anyhow, thank you so much for your time and watching this video. I hope you can get on the water soon and catch the big ones. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wear the line today